If you push something to its absolute limit, a body, a weapon, gravity itself, does it break? Or does it break through? Power beyond expectation. Class-defying maneuverability. Transformative integration of Xi'an tech and design. A revelation in short-range combat. Unleash the fury. Only from Mirai. Maybe you're into touring the galaxy's more out-of-the-way destinations. Or you're known for your speed and tenacity. You always deliver. Perhaps you're a peacemaker, taming a wild galaxy. Whatever calls to you. Choose your lifestyle with the 100 series from Origin. If someone were to ask you, what is speed? What would you tell them? Is it simply a measure of distance covered over time? The magnitude of velocity? Or is it something more? At origin, speed is more than a number. It's a state of being. Speed is a shock to the soul. Speed is a call to action. Speed is... Introducing the 2943 300i from Origin Jumpworks. Whoa, Ralph. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, Moroko's shit. here. At least I think that's him I see in there. Holy moly. Ralph is Holy trying moly. to not die, is what he's doing oh, right oh now. Oh my god. Look at this fucking gap right here. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't see it right now. Things? Hey there, Moroko. Oh All my right. god. So, 323 has been released uh, to the EPTU. 
So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check out the EPTU. Um, I'm already having some issues. <laughs> I guess the launcher was updated today and there is a 323 patch. Oh, and, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, I did both. Well, just a bit ago, I hit the launch button to launch the game. And I think it tried to launch it twice because I got all these errors telling me that I can't load uh, uh, whatever. What is that? Uh, hacking detector easy anti-cheat or something like that came oh, up yeah, saying easy. i can't run it twice or something and i'm like I, i'm not and then the game said that it can't run it twice and then my launcher says launch game instead of game running so uh i got in changed a couple settings got out and now i'm trying to look through my settings here i want to see if i can find my keys and then just kind of like my button my key bindings and move that over uh, so but, were you able to get in the game? Oh yeah, yeah, I made it in. I didn't. Oh. I didn't get into the PU. I was right, just the menu. The menu. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before I go any further, I need to let everybody know that I'm sick. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> it has finally got me. So everybody in my house—not everybody, but there's been someone in my house sick, pretty much constantly since the beginning of October. How long is that? October, November, December, January, February, March. That's almost seven months now. There's always been someone sick. My wife had bronchitis. Um, she's at the end of it. I think she's good for the most part. But then my oldest son got pneumonia. And then uh, he's he's pretty much at the end of it right now. He still has some of the coughing. Then my youngest son ended up with an ear infection and... Uh, and then my oldest daughter, I have four kids. <laughs> yeah, my uh, oldest daughter, she got something too. We don't know what it is. We didn't take her to the doctor. She, she kind of started getting better faster, but she's been sleeping ever since she got home from school today. So it's it's getting her again. And, and yesterday I started feeling this. It's like body aches and migraine and just the, it's kind of where I'm at. Um, so, depending on how this goes i may have to uh, i may have to uh, bail early just because of how bad i feel but uh we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes i think i think i'll be good for a few hours at least yeah that's a regular day for me too morocco but it's quite a bit more se more severe now <laughs> Getting out of my chair, I feel like I'm 108 years old, where normally I feel like I'm 70 years old. So it's a little bit of a difference, but yeah, I'm having a hard time waking up too. I got, I think it was like nine, almost 10 hours of sleep. Usually I'm just as awake as ever, which is not very awake. Um, but I'm, I feel like if I blink for too long, I might fall asleep. So I'm um, gonna watch that. All right, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm copying, copying my stuff over here, hoping that it works. I've, I've never had luck with, uh, like saving my mappings. Every time I've done it, it doesn't restore everything. It just gets some things. So I'm hoping this time it's a little bit different. There isn't even a, a mappings. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Got it in. I think these are kind of old, but we shall see. Let's go live. All right. Good luck us. Good luck me. Uh, I'm telling you, it's buggy enough. You're going to feel like you don't have any <laughs> luck at all. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, Morocco. I'm probably going to have to do that anyway. I mean, every every time I do this, I end up having to do it anyway. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll probably... No, I already do know that I need to change some things. So, uh, 323 has master modes. 
Uh, so when we're flying, we have to swap between nav mode and combat mode. Um, I don't have a button for that, and I need I need a button for that. So I have to I have to look for that. I gotta change that button. It's taking its time loading now. How do I fucking go to sleep in my bed? Oh, did you hear? They're gonna take out bed logging. I think they did. I can't go to oh, sleep yeah. in my bed. That could be. Maybe it's already out. That is <laughs> That is very possible. Oh man, that'll suck. Alright. Is oh. my stuff in here? December twenty twenty. Oh, you know what I can is. do? Huh. I know what I can do. I'll hover above that motherfucker and I'll just log out in my ship. I don't care if I gotta reclaim the ship. Yeah, this is a joke. So I, I'm trying to remember where I saw it. I think no, it wasn't. Um, I was watching. Oh, what's his name? Dig that. His name is Dig that. A video that he was doing. He yeah. he showed a video on on the whole bed logging thing and uh, and he was talking. It was a video that was all about it. Uh, but he was he was talking about it, and I, I guess for Sig they said that it just doesn't fit their vision of the game. Um, it doesn't it doesn't fit the game. But I mean, just like he says, I'm I'm on the fence with that because then what's the point of the beds? You know, I mean, it's it's got to do something for us. You know, most yeah. th there's a lot of games out there where when you log in, you're right where you left off. You know, if if they take that away the bed logging thing then i mean everyone's got a quick teleport to town no matter what it could be good though it, it could be that they're going the other way and instead of of doing it that way what they're doing is no matter how you log out you would just appear back in the same place and that would be that would be cool um but I also kind of feel like that could use some work like if you're out flying around in a ship and you just log out then there's like a chance that you get raided while you're gone or something i don't know <laughs> i don't know something i feel like there should be something all right let's do my settings here got a lot of windows open I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. The reference mode planet volumetric clouds are apparently really good. Um, I watched another video. Uh, I want to say it was like a week ago. I don't know if they, it was supposed to be. I think it was one of our leaks, actually. Um, and they were showing like reference versus high or very high. It wasn't a whole heck of a lot of difference. I, I am going to keep mine on medium shadows i'll just put everything up to high quality very high upscaling oh dlss yeah i've already got mine on Man, everybody was no. crashing last night we went to one of the new distribution centers yeah and everybody's fucking crashing their computers are crashing <laughs> and, and i'm right and they couldn't move and it was real laggy for them and shit yeah and i'm running along at 60 fps going Man, I don't see what the problem is for you guys. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I I hope I hope they get get upscaling. This DLSS stuff worked out really well. Morocco just said apparently the UI is really bad with upscaling. Um, it is it is buggy right now. It's not as good as it will be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely look forward to it though. 
Uh, I'm going to have it on. It is is really fixed the the lagginess of said now here 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 we go again i was just over at that same place today and i was doing 17 fps yeah um but it was kind of i'm gonna try it though 30 and 17. Yeah. yeah i'm gonna have it on right now is my game uh-oh whoa oh my game crashed <laughs> i was wondering what was going on there all right coming back in yeah, I'm going to keep it on for now. If I have too many problems, then I'll swap. I will go right back. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I haven't had any problems with the LSS. I wonder if my hanger's still open, because it was showing hanger four for me. Um, it's still showing hanger four. No, so it's I'm, not open. I'm curious because what's supposed to happen with the hangers <clears throat> when when you call a hanger, they spawn in your personal hanger, and it's based on the size of the hanger that comes with the largest ship that you own, um, and so you get that same hanger every time. I don't know how that's going to go if you sell your largest ship or get a new ship that's even bigger. Uh, I think it might still be open. Oh, no, that's what is, Wait, what is this? Is that like a loading screen? Oh, no. That's because I got to create my guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's play with this because that looks fucking nothing like me. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the first experience with this thing. Um, totally forgot what I was saying, but, uh, that's all right. All right, yeah, go to this guy. Let's give a little bit of a, a little bit of a play here. I am, wait, where's the picture? I am super white. So, I mean, is there a paper option on here? I don't see paper. I got everything over. I am good, good to enough. go. So now what I'm going to do is um, just log out somewhere. Okay. I don't, I won't bed log. I'll just log out in my ship and then uh, just recall or go with you somewhere. Um, actually, I wonder why my hangar's not opening. Do freckles even matter if they're that subtle? Like, I can't, I can hardly oh. tell the difference here. Here's my hanger. Oh, it's not open. Oh, here's one. It's open. Anybody in it? Oh, that must be for me. Hanger 8. That's a little bitty hanger. That's what I should be in. There's almost nothing oh. here. Oh. I mean, I you guess I'll, you fly. I'll keep a few. Um, you you fly. Till I fly? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Shit. Right. I still got the same thing. Whoa. Two. Oh, it wasn't two. going there. All right, two. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think what I'd like to do is go underneath. Go through the station. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This doesn't move very well. I'm gonna fly my ship into the station. Oh, there's a wrecked up ship right here. The, these Poor changes guy. are so small. Oh, now it's working better. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'll do that. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I can park on the showroom floor. <laughs> You can try. You can always try. Oh, I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm going right through this glass right here. Yeah, I'm watching it, Morocco. It takes like a second or so to go through, but just like the freckles, <laughs> even if I give it that second, I only, I, like, I barely notice it and I'm zoomed in this far. It's taking up the majority of my screen. So something like freckles, why? If you can't see them, I mean, if you look at me, hold on, check this out. 
All right. Look at this fucking thing right here. There, there it is. Look at that. I got, and then right up in here, there's another big one. Those are like, those are moles, okay? Not freckles. Those are moles. Oh, How come oh, we right. don't have moles? I think that would do a little bit better instead of just freckles. Give me an option to like put a oh, mole somewhere. Oh. That can, can make it look like me. Oh my god. Okay. So I wonder how this is. I wonder. I can't do that. So all I can do oh. is. Oh. Can I rotate? Oh, it rotates everything. All right. I agree, Morocco. <laughs> There's, uh, there was a game on PlayStation two, three, or four, I think, that would do that. Um, you would, you would take a picture of yourself, and it would try to figure out like how big your nose is and all that kind of stuff, and it would like make a three D model of your face. You could do your whole body if I remember right. Um, yeah, I fell right through the planet. So it's your character that's flawed like that. It's not your ship. When you're in your ship, it makes your ship part of your character. But I walked off the ship and I went right through the planet. Oh, so it's your ship or your character, not the ship you said? Yeah. So if I, if I wasn't in the ship, it would have been able to park. So oh. I had something going on with my character that was making me like that. <clears throat> oh my goodness this isn't everything i want oh this is moving everything instead of just a part you of are uh p mad 99 right yeah i try to be anyway oh, that looks a little bit more like my Did nose you see a friend request okay It'll probably be a bit. I'm in the character creator. I'm trying to make myself. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to see how good it is. Well, I want to be able to join on you. What server oh, yeah. are you on? Yeah, I'm I'm not. I'm in the character creator. I haven't created my character yet. Oh, okay. Well then I Fix. will uh I'll just go ahead and jump back in then. Yeah, I can yeah, you go back in, I'll I'll join on you. All right, let's see if there's anything like my hair in here. You're probably gonna, oh, Absolutely it's not. Um, I'm not balding, not not that bad at least. Uh, I could be one of those guys, but no. That's too much hair. I mean, that's closer. You have to set up all your sticks and everything? Uh, don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna find out though. This guy's balding too much. I mean, I, I guess that would probably be the closest so far. I wish they'd give him like names or a number so I, I can remember like, yeah, it's number 12. There's some feedback I can leave actually. All right. All right. Let's do the beard. Th this is about... Well, I mean, it's a little long. I mean, that's kind of about where I like to keep it. Let's see. Do they let you do the length of your facial hair or just what's in the presets? They have shorter versions. Um, you okay. can, there is a, an over and above the pre presets though. Yeah. You can, you can get in there and negotiate, edit shit. Okay. But I didn't do any of that. I just said, fuck it. I'm going to. This is where I used to be. So you're gonna you're gonna like spend half the stream making up your character and the other half setting up your sticks? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, it ain't gonna take me that long. I'm a I'm a good ways through already. Well, I gotta set up eyebrows. I gotta see what they are. Wait, why is it purple? Oh, that's oh, actually a lot know. like mine right there. Let's see what else they got. Oh, they consider him a weapon. What's a weapon? They're called item underscore name flare underscore flare underscore medivac. Oh. 
And I've been finding them at the, the uh, what do you call it, centers. The cargo centers. Come on, put that in my hand. This wants me to dye the tip of my hair freaking red. I don't want that. Oh, yeah, well, where can I pick? Okay, variation. I like that, but I want... As much as I hate to say it, uh, I need I need more variants in my hair, and it needs to be white. Right. Because I'm getting old. So maybe I'll go job, please. up here a little bit. Uh, how come I can't? Oh, what the hell? Activate. Oh, it's activated. Oh, God. Oh wait, I pick. Oh. I wonder what it does. I wonder if this is like a med med medical beacon or something. You said it's an object that you can pick up. Yeah, and and the the on the object itself it says med space vac. Med vac. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I thought honestly it was going to be something I could set on the ground, and then all my all my you know the people in my party can gather around it and it'll heal them kind of a thing yeah we'll have uh, to take a look once i'm in <laughs> yeah. um hey there mando yeah it is pretty awesome um i'm a little confused here though apply from facial hair and eyebrows it's not what i want okay so hair dye i want to change the color of the beard do I not get to? I don't think I I don't see an option anywhere. What's that? Oh, I don't want to randomize all. I'll just, um, hmm. Uh, there are those head icons yeah but see when I go to these this is actually picking the hair and the facial hair and the eyebrows not coloring them and then this right here is if I want to dye the tips oh which I don't Wait, is that on yeah, that stupid thing is on I don't want that <laughs> fuck maybe I should dye the tips white <laughs> oh whoa whoa nope oh actually look at that hold on Oh, this might work. Oh, let's give it some variation. Do less. Oh, my hair color actually changed a lot too. <coughs> oh, this cold's gonna not be good. Um, yeah, look at that. Now it looks like I got a lot of gray hairs in there, which is what I really do have. So we'll keep that. Uh, load or save. Let's call this. Mike, export. I'm not done. I'm just testing that. Okay. Styling. Oh shit! Yeah, I guess. Some just threw me on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm carrying this med back thing or what. Oh, almost got caught in the door. Wait, this is supposed to be the eyes, but this isn't doing anything. Oh, is it like eye makeup? Is that what that... Uh, I don't... Oh, yeah, that's what that is. None. Zero. Zero eye makeup. Zero makeup, period. Uh, okay, wait. Alright, I gotta go back. I gotta... My eyes are really, really wrong here. All right, I think I have to look at myself. <laughs> okay. Using my camera here. Oh, I got some sad ass eyes, man. Okay, let's try. Uh, 
okay. May yeah, maybe. What about this guy? Uh, maybe a little bit. No, I don't have tiny eyes. Too fast. Oh, this one. Wait. Oh, that ain't... That ain't... Yeah. Let me look again. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this where I want it. None of these eyes are like mine. At all. Maybe I should go let Sig scan my head. They probably won't, but... Seeing if any of the any of these even get anywhere near like mine. I think that's probably the closest I'm gonna get. For the eyes. Oh, what about the cheeks? Mine are a little bit more round. Not like that. Okay. Maybe like this guy's. Maybe a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, this dude. Oh wait, I did lips. Oops. You think so? Oh, you know what? I think you're right. I think his are a lot pointier than mine are. Wait, let me see. Oh yeah, mine kind of go straight across and then they kind of start to curve down. I used to have sharper peaks like that, but pluck, pluck my... I, I, pluck my eyebrows out of stress all the time so it doesn't really work as much anymore wonder if i go like this oh we are no. spinning and spinning <laughs> now we're back on the track <clears throat> all right yeah let's let's check out the eyebrows wait not styling was it at here i wonder if i got on the same hang eyebrows um, so are the same? Are those supposed to be that color? I gotta go look. You know what? I think I think that's a lot more like mine right there. Yeah. Am I that bushy, or am I more like that bushy? I think I'm the other one. Hey. Oh, um, shoot. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit more like that. I don't have as much of the shadowing under here, though. So we're not on the same server. Shit. My ship's not in here. Heck, damn it. I figured I could have my own little personal hangar right here. Hey, wait. What is this? That's like Facial recognition not active. Press space to activate. What does that mean? You gotta turn your camera on. Oh, is that what it's for? Oh, it is on, but it's being used elsewhere. Does that oh. just mean I can like... Wait, right there. Facial recognition. Press space to activate. It's not active. Now it says it's active. Oh. No, it's not doing anything. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking, Morocco. Yeah, Mando, mine, mine is technically on the other side, but I don't think... I can switch that, can I? I should probably turn that off. They still don't have any pricing for ships. Ignabit. Wait! Oh, don't lose, thank God. I thought I was screwed for a second. Alright, so where did... Come on. Here. Oh, sculpt. Alright, let's try... What does this do? Oh hey. no, my eyelids aren't down like that. Come on, man. Oh, He's son of a bitch! I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. Oh, Retrieve there's, there's the data. Quite a bit of stuff here. Retrieve the data. There we go. 
purchase ship. Are you sure? Yes. Confirm purchase. <laughs> I kind of. Oh, I uh, <laughs> failed. I kind of look sad. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that's... they were going to give me an M2 for zero dollars. Is that? Did you buy the M2? No, it wouldn't let me. It failed. All right. I don't think this will let me do. Is it here? I think I picked one down here. Yeah. Whoa. Right here. Yeah, it doesn't swap the style. All the other ones are like balding. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm not too worried about it. I gotta go pee. I'll be back. Okay. I'll just export it as the same one. I think it's close enough for now. Um. Probably mess with it more some other time. See if I can get it a little bit closer to me. But uh, that'll do for now. All right. So Ralph said we're starting in Lorville. Do best. Confirm. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it's any good. Uh, let's get some display info up here. Let's see if my FPS improves. So I put my DLSS on quality, which is 66%. It's usually what I do in games when I turn on DLSS. And I usually, whether it's on or off, I usually don't really notice a difference at that rate. So we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I really, I really have high hopes for DLSS in this game. For all, all of the upscaling. All of it. <laughs> it all needs to work. Um, what do you mean by a sub, Morocco? Like a subscription? Like the monthly subscription? Yeah, I believe so. Let me bring up this and we'll go to Spectrum. Actually, no, we don't want Spectrum. Right here. All right, so. All right, so group one is subscribers, so yeah. Yep. Yeah, as long as you're Legatus Navium, concierge backers, a subscriber, or a top active player rated by the hours in the two major pat last two ma major patch cycles, you'll get it. So yeah, you, you that would do it right there. Um. Can you use store credit for a sub? I'm not sure you can. Maybe you can. I've never tried. I think the checkout. No, I think the checkout is different. Um, I'm not positive. Okay, it is it is the same, but this right here is where you would put that in, and it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, you'd have to pay 
all new money to get it. Is it allowing you to? Are you doing a different one? Like you're doing Imperator? Are you doing like an annual subscription instead of monthly? Because mine didn't give me the option. Not like it does when you when you buy a ship. I mean, if maybe if you get to the end of the store. If you get to the end of the checkout process where you pick like how you're going to pay, maybe then it does. But I know they've... Uh, they, they've always been kind of backwards, you know, like if you're if you're gonna go buy a ship like let's say I was gonna buy this guy Oh, you know, what? maybe they did change it. Oh, yeah invalid cart subscription plans cannot be purchased with other items I think the checkout is different here What? <laughs> Not spinning anything Ralph all right. Yeah, we'll have to deal with that later. How's the game going? Where is the game's icon? There it is. So we're loading for a really long time. Yeah, so it used to be, and it might still be, and I think it is, when you buy a ship, you go to the page where it's showing you what you're going to purchase. And then on the right side, there's like a little bar, and that's where you can put in any store credits you have, discount codes, uh, all that good stuff. And uh, <clears throat> and then, you know, that's, that's good to go at that point. Um... Uh, but then you keep going down, you get to the end, and you check out. And when you check out, you pick your payment method like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, whatever you got, and then you pay. But it's that first spot where you pick your discount codes and store credits. Usually on websites like Amazon and everything else online, it's when you go to the checkout screen and you're picking your payment method, that's usually when you get to to pick everything um the first login takes you a little while yeah you know. well i'm getting the busy status on here yeah oh uh, wait see <laughs> says wait for solar system but we're going into the stanton system i want uh comms comms yeah comms There's not that many people in here. Maybe a hundred. Do they have the limit at higher than like 100, 120? I don't know where you find that. <clears throat> it used to be that you can press F11 to go to your comms. And you could see it at the top, but that thing's been kind of a mess for quite a while yeah, it's now. Gone. That's gone. Still getting the busy status. Message CET running for a long time. Task name yeah. model wait for views. Oh, which one? Which uh, server are you loading in on? It's, I didn't Mine? get. To, I didn't get to pick. I just. It, it was just best, so I picked best. Oh yeah. Uh, do you know what server it is? Oh yeah. Um, it is zero three zero. Oh yeah, it's not mine. So does this have? Do they do server meshing in here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it says true. It's on right now. Um, last night it was going like crazy. Rep. That's oh. called a replication layer. I don't think. I think the replication layer is the base of uh, server meshing. Oh. I don't think it's actual. The actually. 
full on server meshing. It might be. Well, they don't. Know. They don't expect server meshing until 4.0. What I uh, well, they want to have server meshing working by the time they get to 4.0. Oh. So I, I remember they did say they wanted to start with the replication layer, um, which I believe is essentially it stores our data and information on where we are and what we're doing on a specific set of servers. But then the replica, that's, I guess that's essentially like the replication layer. But then they have other servers that are controlling, you know, the the maps, you know, where we are and, and what those objects are doing. You know, whether that object is a person, a ship, whatever, it's their X, Y, and Z position and, and their animation state and, and all that kind of information. And so if this server that is the map server, or whatever, if it's having issues, then it spins up another server syncs with whatever that bad server is doing so they're in sync with each other and then you just instantly swap to this server and then this the bad one can kind of do a reboot or get shut down and start back up and then you know now it's ready for whatever comes next <laughs> that's how mm. i understand it <clears throat> holy cow ralph this takes forever I feel like it's going to dump me out here soon. Probably will. You can probably escape out and try it again. I think I'll give it a few minutes. I'm debating whether I want to talk about something that's been bugging me about this game. Uh-oh. Yeah. I have, I have a big post that I'm working on. It's going to go in the general section of Spectrum here later. Maybe tomorrow. Depends on whenever I finish it. But kind of the the thing I'm, I'm looking at here is the realism that we get from this game. Um, I believe that it's been sold to us as a space simulator that is going to be as realistic as possible. And everything that I've seen from the Kickstarter to, to all the videos they do, they're always talking about this realism and how what they do is more realistic and because it's more realistic, it's more immersive. And if it's more immersive, it's more fun. And I see all that stuff all the time, all the time. But then they they did master modes, and uh, that that really kind of it's kind of like flipping a switch, I think, because there's not much about master modes that's realistic. Uh, one of the things I say in my post that you guys will see if you read Spectrum is uh, if you were to turn, oh, I might be coming in now. If you were to turn on combat mode and you go flying by a space station, you know, really close, you know, kind of like, like you watch those Star Wars videos where you see them chasing each other through all the cracks and crevices all around, you know, these big capital ships, they're fucking zooming by at high speeds. If you go down, in into like a space station or, or a big ship or whatever and you fly at top speed while in master mode or with uh, your combat mode turned on you're like just inching along you're hardly moving at all you know and it's kind of like you know that that was that that was essentially chris roberts dream that was his example too that when he was eight years old and he watched star or watched star wars yeah, it was his dream to to be a dogfighter like that. Obviously, you have to do it in a game because it's not going to be real life. But uh, I mean, that's kind of that's a lot of people's dream coming into this game, hearing about the realism and the dogfighting and all this kind of stuff. It's just kind of like that's what I want. But with master modes, when you're in combat mode, that's not the case. You're going so slow that evasive maneuvers almost don't work at all and it's it's kind of pathetic um and then there's the the 
the shields. Why do you not have shields when you're in navigation mode? Now, one of the things I like to think of on on the shield topic is there is oh, there is roughly 100 meteors about the size of your fist or so meteorites that hit the moon every day and i use the moon because it's got significantly less gravity so it's more like a spaceship you know it's just sitting there you know i wouldn't expect us to be moving as fast as a moon in our ship and get hit by 100 a day but if we're going to be flying at 1200 meters a second in navigation mode and there's that many that hit the moon which is like 30,000 a year I mean there's we're gonna run into them like in real life realistically we would run into them so we need shields you know I mean that's the realistic way to go we need shields it would protect us from that but it also makes sense I mean so like I think I think the reason for master modes is the complainers, the people that complain about PvP, have complained so much that Sega that they just want to shut them up, and this is their way of doing it. It's just saying, "Shut up, let's move on from this," and maybe they'll reverse it later. Maybe they come up with some other ideas, but uh, well, I all I, I can say I is, you wait. Wait for what? <laughs> So you're in the pilot seat because it's fucking crazy. How so? If you put your landing gear down while you're flying, uh huh, it automatically reduces your speed to about five miles an hour. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. That's not good. <laughs> there was a tram floating through the air. <laughs> yeah, uh, no shit, dude. It. Yeah, and like you said, if you put yourself into quantum mode, <laughs> your shields shut off. And yeah. then, okay, and I, my thinking was, well, shit, if I'm in quantum mode and somebody comes up and starts shooting at me, if I turn on my fighter mode or whatever, it takes a few seconds for that to boot up yeah. before I'm needing my shields to boot up yeah, or anything. Like I think it's like three to five seconds. I think, I think it is five it's seconds. It's a freaking joke, dude. It's yeah. just a joke. It's, it's... I, I feel like the reason that they decided to not put the shields in there for navigation mode is they think that people would abuse it somehow. But if, if we had it set up, if they had the game set up where if you're in nav mode, you have a limited amount of power. Think of the power triangle, okay? If you don't have, if you have your, your power triangle in 100% engines, your shields will go up, but they go up really, really slow. That should be the same way it is in navigation mode. They go up slow. That way, if someone shows up to start shooting you, and they and you and they start shooting you, they get the jump on you. They will. You would immediately switch to combat mode and turn, but that gives you the ability to avoid fire and recover the shields before they blow you up but without it you're taking so much damage already that anyone who tries to sneak up on you or attack you or get you when you least expect it they've they've got a massive advantage massive advantage and it's just it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense I, I think if you if someone is shooting at you you should at least have the chance to just maybe you know sit in your hangar let it let it maybe it takes a couple minutes maybe if you're in a uh, a c2 it takes like five minutes you know but in that process it's slowly going up so you do have shields so if someone starts attacking you at least you could do like some evasive maneuvers and try to get out of the way before you start taking damage because a lot of these ships like if someone jumps in and, and they're right behind me and I'm in, you know, like a, a Pisces or something and I see a Corsair come in and it doesn't look like they're ready to attack or anything and I'm just like, ah, no problem. Then they get close and immediately start shooting. Pisces is going to just pop, done. They're gone. Yep. But with yep. sh with shields, you know, they'll at least be able to get out of the way and recover their shields before they die and have some kind of fighting chance. And I would think that over 900 years in the future, that the shields wouldn't be a problem like that. I would think that over 900 years in the future, 
our ships would be able to go at maximum speed in combat mode. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it feels weird. Uh, Maroka says, I think at some point they will have to increase hull health significantly. It won't be this fast to blow up a ship because they have to give you time to use escape pods or something. Man, um, listen there. It, it, okay, so you're limited when you're in navigation mode. You have no shields. If somebody tries to fight with you, you you have to... Or if, okay, so you put yourself into fight mode or fly mode or whatever the hell that's called. It's combat so and you navigation. Have shields, but then you want to jump out and get the hell away because you're yeah. a way smaller ship than they yeah, are. Yeah, but now you, you can't. You have to wait for your freaking quantum drive to totally spool up before you can even jump out. Yeah, you have to sit oh. there. You have to sit there and and wait for your quantum drive to spool up, which for the most part, you can do that while trying to evade. Um, and you can also go at a faster speed so you can get away with them. And that's what everybody says. They're always like, oh, well, you can just go. You can just leave because you're so much faster. It's like not if they can pop you in like two shots. I mean, it, it's a little different in that situation. And so, I mean, I think part of the problem is people are like, oh, the skill is too high. And because it's too high, I go out to do something. Somebody attacks me. I'm not able to take them out because my skill's not good enough. Like in, in me and Ralph's case, we're too old to really get real good at that. We don't have that, that like 25 year old Twitch response to just instantly know what's going on the moment something happens you know, and, and react to it that fast. We don't have that. So I understand what people are going for. And I agree. And I think master modes is the right way to go, but uh, not are you even on my server. You're not on I'm, my server. I'm back at the main menu, but it's telling me join is unavailable. Um, uh, why? I don't know. Let me just try to join anyway. It's probably because of the way that I left. I'm thinking the the server yeah, glitched you out right back on that same no, server it's putting me at 120 which one are you on 110 110 zero, zero, one, zero. Zero, so you're on 10 okay. okay so i understand why why something like master modes exists but to go as slow as we are forced to go in master modes i can beat people in arena commander that i should never ever be able to beat like I, if I went against Avenger one, I could probably sometimes beat him where without master modes, not a fucking chance. I would probably be lucky to land a bullet on him, but his aim is better than mine. And so if I was to fight him, he'd probably land a lot more shots on me. He's probably got better, better management of all of his stuff than, than I do. In fact, I was watching him today and he's at, he actually learned his ship so well that he figured he could just stay, keep his ship on full engines and still pop anybody really, really fast in just a few shots. You know, with, I think he was in, uh, he was in a fury. Yeah. I mean, he was, he was freaking killing it. All right. I'm back to the main menu and trying to join on you again. What is that? That keeps coming up. Yeah, but people are always going to find something like that. So kind of kind of my feeling is skill needs to be like the biggest factor involved. So maybe the skill ceiling should come down and that would kind of help. That way, when people do the work to get good, they'll hit a wall at some point, which is the same wall everybody hits if you put in the time and effort. And not everybody would do that, but there because of how big that skill ceiling is there's enough room to have a good variance everywhere and you know some people would be really close some people would be amazing some people would just suck which is how it is in 322 and before but the skill ceiling is a bit high um so the solution double our speeds 250 is not going to do go to 500 i think at the speeds of 500 People would feel like they're moving at the speeds that they saw in movies like Star Wars and all that. And they would they would get mm -hmm. that satisfaction. They would feel like they're going fast without going so fast that they lose control and, and you know, can't do anything. Um, I, I, th I think that would work the best. And I've, I've been saying that for a long time. 
Um, 500 is, is where it's at. But I think too, at the same time, that it should also depend on <clears throat> how well you're equipped. Maybe you're in a stock Gladius and you can only go, you know, 380 at, at best. Then let's say you upgrade your, your uh, engine to <clears throat> maybe like a, a civilian class A, you know, an A class civilian. Now you can go like 400 or, or four, 410, 420, 430. But if you equip a military engine or power plant, whatever, obviously you're going to go a lot faster. That's where, where a Gladius might hit 550 with a, a military A class uh, power plant or whatever. You know, they, they would be able to get that top speed. So if you equip for military, you know, you would get the top speed. But again, there's A, B, C, and D. If you get the A class, that's going to be the best. If you get the lowest end, <clears throat> you'll probably be around the top end for some of the other areas. But uh, but there would also be some limitations too. You know, like as a military ship, you're going to burn through fuel fast as fuck. You know, if it's a civilian ship, your top speed is not super high, but you got a lot of fuel. You know, if you're stealth, your top speed is, you know, maybe a little fast, you know, maybe not quite as fast as a civilian ship, but it's super quiet. It's very fuel efficient. It doesn't put out a lot of EM or, or heat noise. You know, it's stealthy. You know, everything has a pro and everything has a con, you know, and it would be kind of like, like a circle of life, you know, like, like one ship when fully equipped is really good at taking out this ship but this ship that's because this ship has a weakness that this ship was built to exploit and that could go in a big full circle where eventually you get to another ship that would be able to take out that first ship because it's built for its weakness uh, Morocco says skill is not the issue I think in real life you wouldn't expect a truck driver to go up against a fully trained soldier they have to create a universe they a system where a truck driver has a chance to escape or the authorities instantly come to their help. So that is a part of it, Morocco. I, I do think skill is still an issue because the reason they did master modes, the reason I believe they did master modes is because everybody was complaining that there's people out there like Avenger 1 and his whole squadron and, and a lot of others who will just camp you out. You know, they're, they're waiting for you to show up and and they just take you out and a lot of these people are like you know what I don't, I don't have the time i don't have the energy to work on my skill I, maybe you're 40 50 60 years old you, you don't have the 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 mental acuity to to do these sorts of things at the same level as somebody else maybe you're someone who's disabled you know and and you totally can't do it you know there's there's a lot of things that that can fit in with it so they did say they did say that there's gonna be a, a progression path for everybody but I think if they had training where they teach people something you could just repeatedly do as often as you want um, if they had some kind of training where you could go in and they teach you how to dogfight yeah you know, and then they teach you when you should when you should uh, uh, have an escort you know teach you about escorts you know the escorts exist pay somebody to go with you and fight for you you know so you can go and do the mining you're trying to do or or make it to the location that you're trying to get to are you standing without in the dying. Lab or where are you at? Um, I'm getting really terrible frame rates, but I'm over at the elevator and I'm hitting F. Ah, there it goes. Oh man. Minor 26. I guess I still have to use this for that, huh? Oh, I see you over there. Yeah, I'm at 14, 15. So, oh, to operate elevators and doors for your ship and all that kind of shit, switches, you push on your your F key and hold it down for like two seconds, and then you hit your mouse button. I don't think that's right. 
Otherwise, if you do it too fast, it won't fucking activate the switch. Oh, you know what? I want to see... Yes. Yes, the map. Oh, look at how bad that is. Yeah, you wait. Wait, it's like a lot of it is off screen. It's Ralph. He's right there. So it doesn't give us... Uh... What? To like map yourself to me? Noise? Yeah. We don't... It There's doesn't have that option. There's all sorts of new noises. By the way. No, that that was... I think that was my phone. Oh. Or, or it was some other device. It's, it's a familiar sound. Oh. Or it was some other device. Yeah, you wait till you get to the cargo center when you go in the the back rooms or whatever of the cargo yeah. center. There's like it sounds like a, a howling dog or a coyote or something or or maybe that cat, that new cat that they have. Or is okay. it a cat or a coyote or whatever <laughs> the fuck it is? I don't know, it's it's a real eerie sound though. <laughs> but yeah. But the cargo centers are pretty much the only, so far, that I've found, that are entertaining or, you know, fun to go to. They're, well, they're fun for looting, but... I think I'm getting more FPS without DLSS being on. Well, it's kind of fluctuating here now. Believe me, it's better tonight than it was last night. Last night it was a slideshow, just better where you went. <laughs> uh, let's try balanced. 57%. Alright, started at 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, 7, 9. Where is it going? But look at the server FPS, too. It's down there. It's not doing that good. Yeah, I would still expect the FPS on my computer to be better if I turn DLSS on. I wouldn't expect yeah. it to go down. And it's... I don't know, mine's running right around 26. But, I mean, I'm not over yeah, there where you're at. I'm back in another area. You see, now, okay, now I'm back up to 12. 10, 11... 12, 13, okay, there's 13, there's 14. Okay, something's going on. And there's some lag. take this all the way over. You know, it could just be Lorville. Ever since they redid Lorville, this place has been a slideshow. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Thought they left the doors. Oh, shit. Okay, good timing. Thought they left the doors open on the tram, but, uh, the ship was, or the tram was actually there. Are you on the tram? Yep. Uh, I see. Yeah, I was gonna get on one and run it over. You. I'm getting seven and eight frames per second right now, which is not very good. <laughs> so, I'm running at almost 40 right now. I'm just standing here. Here. 
Your train just ripped right through here. You're... Yep, it's, uh, I don't know where we're going or, yeah, you're or what's going to happen there. next, but uh, this isn't the path. Yeah, you're 600 something. Like 800 yeah. something. Boom. <laughs> uh, I you really, got... the doors just open to outside. Metro oh really? my god. What? What the oh, wait, hell? You're coming back. You're coming back. Stay I on there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I couldn't get out. Oh, wait, it was... You're going the other way. Now yeah. you're going the other way. Yeah, I am. Oh, I no, have to. You uh -oh. wait, wait. No, you're 13k. Oh my goodness. What's happening? <laughs> oh, look at all the boxes. Okay, now you're 2.7k. Oh, I just went through something. What's out this window? Doors are open again. I don't have a clue where this is at. I'm going! 2.5 away. Oh, I gotta get back in. That's not the spaceport. That's where I was. Shit. Alright. Here we go again. Wait, where are you? You are... Yeah, 2.5 away. Alright. She said, next stop, Tisa Spaceport. We're going... <laughs> going through right, something if that happens well you made it here but you just went right on through yeah it didn't stop <laughs> oh wait there's a train here right now oh man what is this okay here you go oh the uh -oh. noises that it's making are very bothersome I there's a train or oh you're going somewhere else no you're not <laughs> There's no telling, right? Oh, the I'm gonna, train's gone. No. Oh, but the doors were open. I'm getting out. I don't know where I'm at, yeah. but I'm getting out. Right, no, oh, shit. Here. Oh, shit. I'm what? in trouble. I'm on the tracks. I'm on the tracks. Oh, it looks like you're up here. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Nope. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Ah, it killed uh, me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was running around on the tracks. <laughs> you should have stayed up here close to the door. Uh, I think what would have worked is if I ran out and jumped, I might have, I might have made it. Cause I just ran straight out, and then the the place where I'm supposed to be appeared, but I I hit the edge and fell. Oh. Holy cow! Yeah, you had the right gear on. That's for sure. You are bleeding and will continue to lose health over time. I uh, hope not. <laughs> I'm in the hospital. The frame rate. It's so bad. I gotta get out of here. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're going to have another one of them train rides, I'm going to be on here with you. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm working my way there. Yeah, don't don't get on a train yet till I get there. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of slow. I'm I'm in I the elevator, think, I think. I don't think we're on the tracks. I think we're up above the tracks. I know we're up above the tracks. Yeah, we're going Oh wait. Whoa, now I shifted it. Oh, okay. All right, here I am. Whoa, the door's open and we're still. <laughs> yeah, these things are messed up, man. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I wonder if it's just the one train, because I think there's a few of them over there. I think there's a few trains that you can take. Oh, is that you running by? Yeah. Oh, I just you're standing right here. Yeah. Wow, look okay. at your character. It looks almost like you. Close. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, you're like 50 away? Yeah, here, I'll catch uh, you over here. You're over by the tracks. Oh, yeah, I, I see you walking in place over there. No. Oh, here you are. You see me right here in front of you? No, you're, you're Wait, way over move. there. Whoa. Don't move. I'm getting eight frames per second. Oh, there you are. Oh, why does everything look so bad? Hold up. Stay put. Don't move. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. Oh, there it goes. 
Now it's starting to load some of those pieces in. Yeah, I got like 38. Hold on, let me check my graphic settings. No border list. Oh, it's because I got this on. Let's turn that shit off. Let's see what that does. Okay. So now I'm at 10. This is actually working better with it off. With what off? With the upscaling stuff. Oh, yeah, I like never. Like DLSS. Um, oh, no, I do DLSS. I, well, this is the first time I've done it. But right. it seems to be running pretty good for me. Let me go back. Do you have your upscaling on auto or quality or you what? You already went to the hospital? Yeah, I just came out of there because I died. Oh. What is your upscaling set to? Is it auto, quality, balanced performance? Um, hold on one sec. Here, take a drink. I'm about to die. This will be any better. Oh, shit. There we go. Uh, oh, wait. Let's see here. Not that one. This one. Options. It's in graphics, right? You know where it was? Yeah, you go to options, graphics, and then it's kind of right in the middle of the first screen. I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's upscaling technique is DLSS. What's right. right above that? Uh, off. Okay, so your your upscaling is actually off. You, you're not using DLSS. Oh. Uh. Right, so I've got mine on quality. Let's. I just put mine on performance. Damn! Right. That fucking ran me right up, man. Forty-eight. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if something's going yeah. on with 46, like. Forty-six, forty-eight, man. Oh, no. All right, come back here. Let's let's get on. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Get on where? Uh, the, the tram. Train? Tram. Yeah, oh, I'm the train. You were just standing in front of me. Yeah, I just ran off. Oh. I'm gonna try some different options here. You on the train? No, I'm not on it yet. Oh, okay. I don't see you. Not yet, Grim. I haven't been in long. I've had other crashes. Yeah. And I'm even hitting 61. Okay. And my server server FPS is like 0.2. <laughs> That's up there a little bit. Uh, nothing really oh, seems to be helping my FPS. Oh no. You can see my mouse for some reason. What happened? Yeah, 47, 48. Now I'm down 30, 40, 42, 40, oh, no. 48, 47, I have 49. another bug. Yeah, I'm at 6. <laughs> 6 and 7 FPS. Yeah, I had one instance where I crashed to my desktop. To uh, and that's about it. Boarding. And then a lot of issues. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, Train's barely, coming. barely getting anywhere here. Yeah, I'm going to try turning it off here for a second. See if that fixes anything. Oh, I still have the mouse on the screen. You want to hear what all my settings are set to? Uh, not yet. Train's here. Let's go. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm on the train. Are you on? Yeah. I do not see you on here. Yeah, I see you uh, 61 meters away. You're quite a ways away. I'm in the... Now you're oh, 1.1 you right away. I see you now. Okay. Right, yep. See, we're we're yeah. out of here. We are. I see you. Yeah, Grim. I, I I feel like I might need to restart my game. I'm uh, my game's a slideshow right now. It's barely going. Oh oh, we're spinning. Oh god. We're, yeah, we're off the tracks. <laughs> There's no telling where we are. Are we upside down? No, we're, well, I've seen him upside down. Oh, now we're inside of a building. Uh -oh. We just went through a building. Oh, yeah, we are out here. I don't know what's going on. 
Well, okay, we're in. We're, we're flying through. We're the in the ground we're in at the spaceport. Look at that. We're getting a tour like no one else. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, quiet. Grim, when the I stream. So uh, uh oh. When, air, please, please. Uh, yeah. when when I'm in towns where normally if I play normally I'm getting like 15 to 20 frames per second I'll only, <laughs> I'll only lose like one or two FPS on that uh, but if I'm in an area where I would normally get like 40, 50, 60, even 30, 30, 40, 50, 60 frames per second I don't really notice a difference so the, the streaming I don't think is really messing with anything um, I've got uh, like GPU and hardware accelerated performance stuff all turned off on everything uh, and then OBS actually uses a completely different chip inside the video card that that is unused if you're not streaming or encoding or anything like that so it, it has its own thing so it's minimal impact yeah it's the NVENC video encoder NVENC are you still locked up, Ralph? Oh yeah. All right, well, you know what? Okay, this is this is their uh, replication layer thing. Yeah, this is the one it's swapping over to, to another keep one. Thirty K in. Yeah. But last night you sit there and wait and wait and wait and wait, and then all of a sudden it goes thirty K. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? I thought thirty Ks were something <laughs> in the past now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I have, Grim. I've got a 3080. I've got a a 30 a water cooled 3080, and then I've got the AMD Ryzen Ryzen 950 950X. I don't. It's all running stock speeds right now, though. But yeah, I've got 3080 and a 5950. So the 5950 isn't. Uh, um, it isn't the best for gaming. It's just this generation. It had the most, uh, the biggest core and thread count. <coughs> so I went for it because of video editing and all that kind of stuff that I do. And it's still great for games. I, I never have these problems. Unless I turn on ray tracing. Uh, I do and I don't so usually I use MSI afterburner for everything but what I've been using lately is not that I've been using turn on ray tracing? this here I don't think I don't think they have ray tracing in here yet so oh. it's called precision x1 by EVGA uh, they don't make video cards anymore but this this is theirs. That's the video card I have. It's the EVGA GeForce RTX 3080 XC3 Ultra Gaming. Um, what I was doing was I was taking my my power output here and I was changing it to 50. And when I had my motherboard issues, that would for the most part fix the problem. But everything's running at stock speeds. The fans are not running, and you can see that here on purpose because they're in a box that is behind me over there. Um, because I'm water cooled, so I have a water block on there. Dude, I've even been streaming my freaking video. Yeah, you have been. Um, so this is essentially built off of MSI Afterburner, but uh, th I just use this one just because I already have it. Um, when I do overclock, I do switch over to uh, MSI Afterburner, just because it's better. It does have more options. You can customize the skins, the uh, uh, graphs that it shows you are a little bit better too. Same one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got mine. They were doing, at, at Best Buy, they were doing like an online roulette kind of thing. Like you could make a Best Buy account, which I had. Uh-oh, oh no, I'm oh. falling somewhere. I'm in the sky. What? No, it's Not me. I'm on top of a roof. You're right next to me. Really? I can't. Oh, yeah. what the fuck is happening? <laughs> can we move? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, uh, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> what? I'm falling again. 
Are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you should watch the stream. Back in the train stream. Here, yeah. You had a hospital gown on. Yeah, I know. Well, I was. It did put me back at the train station, but uh, I was. You're I was like. Me. Yeah, I was under the tracks. It and escaped. So I you. fell. Oh, it's all right. I. I mean, I don't see a planet or anything. I think I'm going underneath it. Oh yeah. I'm looking up at Lorville right now. Oh man, this is a view that you don't get to see too often. Oh, I just uh, did a little bit ago in my, got in my, in all my the, ship. It's got all the what wavy was, things from the heat everything? down here. Oh, look at this. Jeff, get down. Fucking cat. Oh, um, I wonder, <laughs> wonder how, how far I'll fall before it kills me. I can see my Oh, bulge. no, on my screen it says you're at 232, oh, you're 232 meters and it stopped. It's oh, not going I'm dying. Feet. I'm dying. I see my health going down. Oh, now you're at 2.6 km, it says. Yep, I'm dying. 30%, 28, 27, it's down here. Oh, I think I need to restart anyway. This this mouse issue is bugging me. Oh, look at that. Look at Lorville from underneath. That's interesting. Well, our server, F oh, our server FPS is 12. Well, it went from 12 to 1. <laughs> now it's 7. Sig, are you watching this shit show I'm going through? <laughs> oh man, I was all stalled out there for a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm really. There I what am. What the hell? I don't understand why it's doing that because I'm, that I'm water? like 40 FPS. There's water I'm bubbles. Like Serious? Yeah. <laughs> I saw water oh, bubbles. <laughs> I've never seen water bubbles. I haven't either. <laughs> Show your damn stream. Uh, look at my stream. Oh, that's on my phone, though. That's all right. Pick up your phone. I don't see water bubbles anymore. I don't think I'm falling anymore. Right. Any crunks of the federal plan? God damn it. Yeah, I think I stopped falling. <laughs> Ralph, come rescue me. I should, <laughs> should put up a medical beacon. <laughs> I think I stopped falling. <laughs> Ralph, come hey, rescue me. I hear myself. I should, should put up a medical yeah. beacon. Oh, time until death, 10 seconds, but it's not counting down anymore. What the hell? Oh, man. <laughs> like I'm just oh, upside God. down underneath Lorville, dead. Oh, there's the timer. Now it's going six seconds. It stopped again. This is the longest 10 seconds ever. Yeah, I think I think there's water where I'm at somehow. Oh, wait, there it goes. All right, I died. I mean, I, mean, I should have never made it this far down, but I died. Now, am I floating up? Interesting. Oh, yeah, you're floating back to the to Lorville. <laughs> yeah. You're going, going back up. <laughs> Um, yes and no, Morocco. The water does have actual physics, but I don't think we can swim in it yet. Yet, no, yet. They they did say, I think it was when they added the rivers, there was a ISC and Alive where they were talking about the future of water. And it sounded like they were going to add boats and swimming and fishing and all this stuff, which would be pretty cool. That would be. Yeah, Ralph, I'm I'm gonna quit the game and come back. Okay. Do you want me to jump servers? Get a different server? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll quit too. Oh, I didn't see one, Morocco. I need to I need to go look at it. Yeah. Where did this go? Alright, well, I'm going to use this opportunity to go and refill my drink because it's 
pretty damn near empty, so I will be right back. Okay. Actually, it looks like my whole computer is not working right now. Oh, the, when you'd log... Ask any soldier. They'll tell you that battles aren't won or lost, based on weapons or numbers or even hardware. They're won on choices. For over a century, our ships have distinguished themselves in thousands of civilian and military combat operations. We are proud to announce another weapon in the arsenal of victory. Get ready for the next generation of warfare with Anvil's Valkyrie Dropship. This multi-role weapon platform is designed to get personnel in and out of the hottest combat zones. Featuring four powerful rotating thrusters with VTOL capabilities, the Valkyrie is capable of landing with surgical precision to deploy assets. Fitted with a vehicle bay and ramp, you can also efficiently launch ground-based troop transports or reconnaissance vehicles in the field. Each high-performance operator seat features rugged construction with added support to minimize G-force for up to 20 personnel, making sure that your fighting force arrives on site ready to jump into the fray. And don't think for a second that the Valkyrie can't hold its own in a fight. Two remote turrets featuring size three hardpoints can provide suppressing fire during deployment. Two additional manned turrets provide even more devastating fire to blur the line between dropship and gunship. In the days of antiquity, the Valkyrie were believed to choose which warriors may die in battle and which may live. With Anvil's Valkyrie, we put that choice in your hands. If you push something to its absolute limit, a body, a weapon, gravity itself, does it break, or does it break through? 
power beyond expectation. Class-defying maneuverability. Transformative integration of Xi'an tech and design. A revelation in short-range combat. Unleash the fury. Only for Mirai. Maybe you're into touring the galaxy's more out-of-the-way destinations. Or you're known for your speed and tenacity. You always deliver. Perhaps you're a peacemaker, taming a wild galaxy. Whatever calls to you. Choose your lifestyle with the 100 series from Origin. If someone were to ask you, what is speed? What would you tell them? Is it simply a measure of distance covered over time? The magnitude of velocity? Or is it something more? At origin, speed is more than a number. It's a state of being. Speed is a shock to the soul. Speed is a call to action. Speed is... Introducing the 2943 300i from Origin Jumpworks. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Let me see. All right, let's see if I can get back in here. Um, the boat you're talking about, Morocco, is it the video from Citizen Con?
Um, Hold on a second. I'm gonna send you an invite. I've cause... I've got everyone bugging me right now. My wife is gone, and so I got. If I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Ask any soldier. They'll tell you that battles aren't won or lost based on weapons or numbers or even hardware. They're won on choices. For over a century, our ships have distinguished themselves in thousands of civilian and military combat operations. We are proud to announce another weapon in the arsenal of victory. Get ready for the next generation of warfare with Anvil's Valkyrie Dropship. This multi-role weapon platform is designed to get personnel in and out of the hottest combat zones. Featuring four powerful rotating thrusters with VTOL capabilities, the Valkyrie is capable of landing with surgical precision to deploy assets. I thought I was back. Now my headset's not working. Hold up here. I cannot hear anything. There it is. All right. So my headset decided to switch to the other device. Now I got to go change everything. I still can't hear you, so I, I don't know if you're saying anything. Just hang on a second. Here, I can, while I'm doing this, I can show you. So here for desktop audio, this is my OBS settings. Um, so right here for desktop audio, it shows headset. It's this one right here, but then it says hands-free AG audio. That's what it's been using, but it also does this one right here. Headphones two and then it says stereo i don't know what makes it change but it just changed and now i'm on the other one all right now i gotta go change it in discord so i can hear things on discord send you an invite all right there it is i just heard sent you an invite all right now i can hear i think i'm back we're the party aren't we yeah, yeah. Um, I'm having that USB disconnect issue again, and it makes me wonder if my motherboard's going bad again. Hmm. Um, actually, you know what? All the music stopped too. Oh, a loop was turned off. That's why. I thought I turned it on. Um. Oh, That's Morocco. What I found in my pantry. Uh, are you talking about the part where the guy's in the boat and he kind of brings it out and he's up by what looks like a dam and he looks up and sees like a cutlass black go over or something like that? Is that the part you're talking about? What'd you find in your pantry, Ralph? cheese curls <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah they're freaking good too all right i don't even have my uh my thing on here All right, well, this FPS is already better than it was last time. Yeah, I'm at 18, 19. Damn. Oh, yeah, this is way better than the last time I was in. I think there was something up with that first run. I'm at 50 right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, I have to all my shit. I'm running the max for DLSS. I don't want auto. Want quality. <clears throat> Alright, see. Oh, yeah, it's up a little bit. Kinda. 
Man, it's so hard to not hold F. I keep doing it. I want I want to use I want to use the other stuff they got here. Man, I feel like it's going down again. Yeah, I'm doing quality for uh, upscaling. Yeah, that's what mine's doing. That's what the I've got. DLS, uh, or DLSS. Uh, someone standing here. Oh yeah. What is CIDTSR? So they have made their own version of. Uh, so I don't. I don't think it's called upscaling. To be honest, hold on. Let me let me look this up. It's not supposed to be called upscaling. I don't because you're actually downscaling. Um, and then FSR isn't that for AMD? Yeah, that's a AMD's version. Well, that doesn't work. Well, I'm running right at fifty right now, a little over fifty. I'm gonna try Sig TSR. See what that does. Yeah, that's probably a good one to try. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is it better? Um, yeah, now I'm between 55 and 60. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out. There's no glitches like, what's, either. What is the name of DLSS? Not like, what does it stand for? I know it's like deep, deep learning subsampling, but like, what is it called? I, it, it, I don't believe it's called upscaling like like they say in the game because if it was upscaling you're scaling it up but you're actually scaling it down so I don't I don't think it's right uh, yeah they're calling it upscaling but actually lowers the quality yeah, there's there's nothing about scaling it up upscaling is when you're running in like 1920 by 1080 and you upscale it to like 4k and those are those are different all right yeah see i'm at 17 here last time it was like 10. um dlss was not essentially what it does is like based on where i'm standing here if i zoom in to this map there is a texture that is applied to like the metal that's going around this map the frame of it and on that texture there's there's essentially a picture um and then there's also i don't i think it's only the picture i don't think it's the geometry i think that's uh something else so what it does is it takes that picture and it says at this distance there's only so much of that that you can see so if you down the quality of that picture it makes a smaller file that your video card is repeatedly using to display it so use a smaller file and so it can go faster because in all these areas out in your distance um, it's taking these big files and it shrinks them and it's using these smaller ones instead and you don't notice the difference in quality now if you down your your dlss to a lower quality like if i was to take it from 66 and go down to ultra performance it'll it'll make a difference <laughs> and and so i mean i can i can already see the difference mm. it's not really doing anything for my frame rate which is strange <laughs> up here i'm at 37. 37 right up here yeah right up here with you well now i'm 32 34. where are you at? oh there you are yeah. yeah so i mean you can you can see it on ralph's face here look at that look at how bad his face see now you're seeing things suddenly appear um mip mapping does kind of the same thing same thing with uh anastropic filtering uh but they you they do it on that same large texture dlss will will actually resize that texture and then use it um, I'm, I, I think there is some things that it does, but uh, like with your geometry as well, because like if you have, you know, a car and you look at a car up close, it's right in front of you. You can see all the detail. You can see the bumps in the hood, you know, like maybe it's like some kind of Mustang with a hood scoop. Uh, maybe you've got uh, 
something else going on with it, like a stripe down the side, and it's kind of a, maybe it's like a white car with a light gray stripe. Up close, you can see that stripe. But once it gets a certain distance away, you really can't see that stripe anymore. Your eyes can't see that much detail at that distance. So that's kind of the idea with DLSS is when things get further away, they can show you less detail without you noticing that there's less detail because you can't see that much detail at that distance anyway. So they use AI and whatnot to kind of control that, that difference to kind of figure it out. Um, that's about the full extent of my knowledge there. <laughs> All right, I'm at 17 here. I kind of wonder if Loreville is very CPU intensive. Um, where'd you go, Ralph? Down here next to the train station. Oh, that is not where the game showed you on my screen. Don't move. Did you take the train already? No. Okay. So you're right next to, what is that, like Terminal 1 or whatever? T1? I don't know, the train. Before we get on the train. Okay. I do not see you. I mean, I do, but you're like 90 meters away. Uh, yeah, I'm standing right here waiting for the train to get here. Do you see the fire hydrant? No. If you stand... If you stand at the doors that open up and you turn around, you'll see the Metro Center exit sign. And yeah. it's almost pointing to the the fire hydrant on one of those pillars. Yeah, I see it. Okay, go to that fire hydrant. Okay, I'm by it. Okay, and then look at the doors to the tram. Mm hmm Okay, what's your FPS? FPS is 3.5. 3.5 frames per second? Oh, that's server FPS. My yeah. FPS is 52. Okay. Do you have something that shows <clears throat> your CPU load or your GPU load? And temp? Actually, I don't there, really see temp. Just showed up in front of me. Yeah. It's, oh, I did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have something that shows your CPU and GPU load? Where? I, I still got stuff loading up. Where would I find that at? Um, <clears throat> you can use... Oops. What is it called here? You can use that NZXT cam, or if you've got them set up on your stream deck, you can use it on there. Yeah, you'll see your CPU and task manager. I think your G I think it shows your GPU in there too. <clears throat> Why? Why isn't it just playing? Oh, there we go. Okay, GPU load is eighty one. Okay. CPU? 44. Weird. Well, that don't tell me nothing. All right. <laughs> you temp is. Uh, the temp doesn't matter. No, I'm just kind of trying to gauge, like, is this place more CPU intensive or GPU intensive? Uh, <clears throat> looking at benchmarks for your GPU versus mine, they're about the same. Uh, I think yours is overall maybe like a few percent faster. Um, What's your clock? What do you mean, for my GPU? GPU. Fuck, I don't now know. Get in the train. Okay, I'm in. Um, my clock for my CPU hmm. is 57. Yeah, that... 5700 that, megahertz. Yeah, that doesn't even matter. Um, 
the thing oh. is like looking at benchmarks our gps are about the same you can do a better version of dlss and because and because of that and some of the other technologies that are newer you could actually get higher frame rates in games that have better support for that video card which is most things that are out nowadays um this game doesn't have that yet but your cpu is actually quite a bit faster than mine so i feel like this is a very cpu intensive place whoa Watch your step when says we're now arriving at Tisa. Yeah, we're... Uh, uh -oh. I'm, like, locking up. Server FPS is 4. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've got the Ryzen 9 5950 Morocco. I think it's like 3.7 or 3.8. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. You're floating. You're I jumped out. I jumped out. I left. Oh, oh really? shit. Yeah. It you still here. You should see oh, where I you. am. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is not good. I don't um, even know where we're going. I'm I'm not even there. Oh yeah, we're upside down, sideways. <laughs> oh. oh man. Yes, that's the one, Morocco. Oh boy. All right, I need I need a sperm suit or something here. Uh, this guy will do. Oh, I am at the space station. Wow. I don't. Oh no, I'm not. I don't really no, know where I am. <laughs> oh, really? I thought you escaped to me. You're at the at the Habs. No, I'm not. Hmm. Those doors opened and I got out in some. Oh, I'm falling through the planet. Oh wait, no, I landed on another spot. Oh, it killed me. You're across from the Habs. Am I? Yeah, you should be real close to the space station. Rescue beacon activated. <laughs> it says time until rescue, 10 seconds. Like, no one's coming. What is it talking about? I could come rescue you. I don't know how you would get here. There, the time until rescue is now gone. I'll come get oh, you. Oh, wait. Now it says Maria Pure of Heart Lorville, like I am spawning or like being spawned in at the hospital. But I still oh. have the you are incapacitated thing on my screen telling me I've got an hour and twenty nine minutes and five seconds until death. You want me to come? And it's get still you? counting oh. down. I gotta I gotta see what this thing's doing first. <laughs> For an hour and twenty minutes you're gonna see what it's doing? Uh no, it's loading something. Yeah, there it is. It's loading something. Uh, let's go back to first person. You have been regenerated. Oh yeah, now you're to have your above me. <laughs> All right, here is the comparison of Ralph's processor versus mine. So it says his is 30% faster. Um, he's got 24 cores, 32 threads. I have 16 cores, 32 threads. And he's going at 3.2, I'm going at 3.4, but he has a boost that goes way up to 5.7. Mine goes up to 4.65. <clears throat> Although he'll commonly burst to 4.1, I'll commonly burst to 3. 3.3, no, that's not right. So I'm at 3.4. Oh, uh, so <laughs> speed ranking, he's in third place. Mine is in 68th place. Uh, let's see. His single core speed is 45% faster. Two, score, two core speed is also 45% faster. His four and eight core speeds are 48 and 46% faster. 
and it's 4% faster at uh, memory latency, uh, which he's also got DDR5, I have DDR4, so his uh, his memory is already running like twice as fast, so I think I think it's the CPU, I think Lorville, like if you want better performance in Lorville and uh, Orison, you gotta get a better CPU, which I will get eventually. All right. see what I can do here. What else do I have? I think I'll still have... Yeah, there it is. <coughs> really? I don't I don't know how that's possible, Morocco. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's another thing. Ralph is in 4K. <laughs> I'm in 1440p. Showing him his boxes. And not anymore. Alright. Get on my head. Alright, let's see if I can make it somewhere today. I feel like the visuals are even worse. Like the buildings in the distance look like shit. Let me, I'm gonna turn DLSS off entirely. Oh, not auto. Well, I don't think they polished this either, so. Yeah, I don't think so either. <clears throat> go back, go back, there we go. Well, my frames did go down a ways, so I guess that was helping. Oh man, it's bad. Okay, wait, eight, nine. I'm back. Oh, actually, I think I was going. Well, I was going at 17. I don't know. I'm running at 45 right now. So mine went Holy down. Holy cow! Yeah, it's like my CPU load is at 48. My GPU load is up though. It's at 97 percent. So something's up with the GPU side of things here. Yes, yeah, so I'm at 2560 by 1440. Oh, wait, you know what I remember? I remember turning on V-Sync, like, did something. Yes. Those are off. Motion blur's off. I'm going to try to make it to the spaceport. Oh, man, look at me. I'm right on the track. <laughs> That's where I was. Everything's running just the way it should be. Right, what if I do windowed? Well, that's not good. Oh, look at my frames! Hit 12, 13, 14. A little borderless. Still at 12, 13. Okay. So that didn't do anything. Alright. Let's just go. Okay, I made it to the spaceport. Okay. <laughs> How'd you get there? You just stayed the on the train forever until it finally showed up? Oh, uh, it didn't even spin or anything. It totally stayed on the tracks. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So why is Ralph not streaming still? Uh, because he's shy. He's very shy. No, I just, uh... He can't see my stream anyway. I think you mean streaming like me. You do your own stream all day, every day. Oh, yeah. I'm not that talkative. <laughs> so, do you want me to take a ship out? Um, I mean, yeah, might as well. I mean, if I end up outside again, maybe you can come pick me up. <laughs> okay, I'll grab the cut, the Rambler. Okay. I love this ship. All it's right, so I awesome. am, I am inside the tram, hoping, hoping for the best. Next stop, Pisa 
I'm in hangar six if you make it here. Okay. If you fall out, stay where you are and I'll come get you. Maybe. <laughs> somewhere oh i think i'm there sweet don't yes. forget to jump over the gap so you don't fall in the gap again oh i'm already off okay i have a question for you moroko when you stream how come there's no camera This is so bad. Put, 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 put. Slowly going. Oh, man. Phew, I stink. Are you farting? <laughs> Called the elevator, I'm waiting for it. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> the frame rate's so bad. <laughs> the frame rate's so bad that, um, that by the time I see the doors open, they're already closing. <laughs> All right, what hangar did you say you're in? Six? Yeah. I think the lag was so bad, the doors, I just never saw them open. I'm out. All right. Oh, man. Get me out of Lorville. Uh-oh. Big pause. Okay. We're good again. Kind of. Whew. Get me out of here, Ralph. <laughs> see that blue thing on the floor? I can't see shit. Everything's so slow. Yes, I see it. That's one of those medivac things or whatever. Oh. You can have it. I got one for you. I'm trying. It's... I'm stuck. I can't move. Wait. Yeah, I can't start my... What the ship. fuck is going on? Oh, am I not... Oh, I was in the wrong place. Oh, there buttons. we go. Sweet. Carry. Okay, you're on? Yep, I'm on. Yeah, if the stream is struggling, that is... Actually, that could be OBS. What? Whoa. Whoa. Can you hear me just fine, oh. Morocco? Or is the audio doing well and the video is not? It's part of somebody's ship. Did you run into I it? Oh, run into it. See this ship? You got the door open back there. See that? Just outside yeah. of the door. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I saw like feet of a bigger ship. Yeah. All right, fly up and out of here. I need some yeah. better frames. Fall out. Uh, not yet. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, it's showing oh, you falling out. Oh, man. No, I'm still in. Somehow. I think I lost that thing that you gave me, though. I think it fell out. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I got plenty of them. Oh, no, I can still see it in there. 
It's okay. underneath your phone. Yeah, I'm at like six frames per second, so I, I may need a minute. It's like bogging down OBS and everything. So like even even my frame rate of my video of my face, it's stuttering too. Uh, yeah, even yeah, it's the whole computer. It's not. It's this damn PTU stuff is what it is. Keep flying out of here. <laughs> I'm just seven frames per second. Well, yeah. I can jump now. Uh, can you yeah. stand up and close it? Oh, all right, you're all closed. Uh, it'll it'll close it when when you jump. I should have closed it. It still shows you standing back here. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, who the fuck is there flying then? It's closing. I wonder <clears throat> if it'll look like a ghost ship. Let's see. I think I'm still squatting. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Sure am. Oh. So hit your squat button. Wait, I did, and then I hit it again to get up, and I squatted even further. I went prone. Yeah, you go prone with your squat button. I do, anyway. Yeah. And then I have to hit my space bar to come up to a squat position. Yep, that's what I did. At least that's what I think I did. Now, this thing is telling me... Ah, uh, the ship's flying with nobody in the pilot seat. Oh, no, I'm in it. I know, but it shows you in I'm the gonna, back. Uh, oh, look, I'm I got the thing a, in my hand. I'm going to jump to a space station. Okay. Yeah, I've got the new one, Morocco. In fact, that's what I'm using. Where is it? Right here. Wait, did it go away after I clicked oh, it? There it is. what I yeah. do. Here's the new launcher. Yeah, look at that. That's getting my whole computer. Actually, oh, that's, that's not bad cool. there. Um, uh oh. There we go. This is not looking good. Alright, in my inventory. There's still no pilot, which is funny. Obstructed. So fucking plot me a course to get unobstructed. <laughs> yep, shows Ralph in the back and no pilot. See, I'm waiting. Did you hear that clunking noise? Yeah. That was my quantum drive coming on. Now, I just got done spooling up. Now I have to wait for it to spool up for the destination that I want to go to. And that has to do with a whole bunch of lag and it won't, it's not, it's not even bringing it up right now. It won't, so I can't jump. Okay, let me try going to Earl one again. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this thing keeps showing me around like seven to 10 frames per second. I don't think that's accurate. Is the stream still struggling, Morocco? I'm I'm assuming it is. <clears throat> oh, am I not? I'm at eight point. What, how how far up do I have to go? Nine something? Ten, oh, I think. That's why. That's why. Okay. Oh yeah. It's it's still struggling. I'm looking at it on my phone. I see it jumping. Let's move a little bit. Yeah, I wonder if it'll fix once we get out of here. If not, then I definitely need to probably restart the game again. Maybe. Still shows Server Ralph FPS in the back. is a solid five, pretty much. And my FPS is 37. Oh. It's catching up. Either you are now in the pilot seat. 
There we Are go. we climbing? Yep, we just did. Now we're okay. out in space. We're at uh, OM4. Oh, it's now got me down to 5 get... FPS. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm running close to 60 right now. Oh, it's picking up. Now I'm at 21, 20, 16, 15, 14. Oh, it's picked up some. Um, I'll tell you what. Just so you can at least see. Um, I'm going to quantum over to one of the safe uh, cargo centers. Okay. Because there are some that aren't safe. <laughs> I've got I've got bodies at all of them. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to quantum over to it. And while we're doing that, I want you to get the pilot seat. And you can fly down there to it and land or do whatever you want to okay. do. Well, before but, uh, uh, I I can't really move for shit here. I'm st it's still dropping me down to less than ten frames per second. I'm going to try to restart OBS um, in hopes that if OBS is the problem, maybe that fixes it. But I I do think the problem is the game. There's like there's something going on with it. All right. Well, before you do that, let me get in a, a solid position somewhere. And now we can just log out and log back in. Oh, or will um, you come back? Everything oh. looks like it's moving okay now, actually. I got 28 FPS. All right, yeah, you know, we can we we can do this. We can do this. Okay. I'm good. Uh, I'm yeah, good. Just give her hell and, and uh, see how it works for you, and then and then we'll go from there. Okay. Are you in the way? Uh, am I, I in the get, way? Yeah, because I can't get through. I'm trying to get out. Oh, so you should say, of, you are in the way, not are oh. you in the way. <laughs> oh. oh, you just got clobbered by the door. No, I'm behind you. Uh, not on my screen. I'm sitting <laughs> in the bed. Well, just Open the through. fucking door. Uh, are we in a party? I think so. I don't think we are. I don't have the trespassing warning. I don't have a a party. Here, let me look at the party. Um, yeah, doesn't look like you're in here. Oh no, you're in here. Huh, wonder why. Oh, they're not. I see P mad now. So it's because I was real close to you. Yeah. So see that Kiwajami or whatever the fuck it's yep. called down there? I see it. Yeah, that's where you want to go. Now, sometimes, like like yesterday, man, it was freaking five frames per second yesterday. But today, the whole time I've been down here, it's been smooth sailing. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, my buttons are fucked up. I got to fix some things. <laughs> that, that was not That was not my inputs. But I at least wanted you to be able to see what it looks like from the outside. You know? Yeah, I need one. Let me get my buttons I mean, done here and then huge. I can. They're um, really huge. Pitch. Up and down. I, mean, I think you can see them from like 20K out. You can see the lights from them. Yeah, hang on a second. Oh wait, that's the wrong yaw. Roll. I should have ate some dinner. Straight oh, wow. up and down. Yes. Left and right. forward and backwards oh man I'm gonna have to do all my buttons again all right up down left right yaw 
Well, here's straight forward back. That's not it. Those are messed up. Alright. So, boost should be that button. Speed limiter increase. Yeah, these are all wrong. On and off. Reset to SCM. Landing system toggle? It's landing gear, right? I don't know. VTOL. What did it do for VTOL? VTOL is left. Alright. Request landing. That one's easy. Alright, well, where's forward and backwards? <laughs> Morocco melted a C1 paint job so he can get a subscription and get in the game too <laughs> <laughs> alright let's see up down left right forward and backwards alright invert hold up straight forward back invert I don't want that I don't want throttle trim whoa wait Lock pitch G force. I think it might be these. I don't know why it looks like that, though. Let's see, there's forward. There's back. <coughs> Wait, why does that say... Because it's also the Z-axis. What? Okay, so how do I use pedals? Am I missing something? Flight system's ready. That would be this guy. Open and close the door. Oh, yeah. No, that one was... Back Wait, slide. what did it... No, no, no. This is... Uh, joysticks. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, so what did I use? I had... Open and close all doors. That's the one... That is to the right. Okay. That's that one. Lock all doors. Close that. And unlock. Go the other way. Look behind, it says button eight. It's the other I'm gonna one. I'm going to grab a I'll be back. Okay. Anyone. Anyway, all right, well, let me see what this does. Up, down. Felt some lag. Alright, down. I don't think my velocity indicator is on. Um Oh, you know what I don't like? All the way to the top here. I think it is right in here. Did they move it? Right here. Proximity assist. I hate that. Alright. Zone velocity is always on. Did I miss the, the pip type leader lag? Okay, where's the lag 
or the the pip type I thought this was right around the middle here no 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 not any of the sliders um how do you choose between lead and lag pip Why is that not in here anymore? fucking took it out didn't they they probably just want us to use a button for I don't like that I feel like I'm just missing it, but I absolutely do not see it. All right. Okay, I lost more buttons, not... Uh oh, wait. Hold up, what's happening? Is there... What? How do I stop moving? Why is it doing that? It's making me go no matter what. Uh, dude, I'm not liking this at all. I don't know what's going on. I am... I am fucking confused right now. Um, I need joystick. I'm going to do this again. I think Did your throttle on? This way. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. Um, but no, there's no fucking option to move forward and backwards anymore with the joystick it's gone I mean I got strafe forward and strafe back but they're both different like I can't like my pedals do not do this normally it's it's kind of like this strafe left slash right it's normally like strafe forward slash back but this one here is the only one like that but it says invert and it doesn't take it I'm hitting my pedals and it's not taking it Oh, I hear, I hear it doing something. Oh, we got, oh, what? Did you put your gear down? I did. <laughs> Watch how slow you go. No, I can't, I can't fucking move, Ralph. The game is literally broken. I cannot move forward and backwards with my pedals. There is no option to move forward and backwards. Oh, your W and S key. See what that does. No, that's going to work, but I need it to work on my joysticks. Well, I just wanted to make sure the game wasn't lagging out or anything. No. It's like if I'm here and I go to flight movement, there should be a strafe forward and back, and there is not. I mean, there is individually, but it's the same control that does both. There's got to be one like this where it's together, and there isn't one.
it's not there. What the fuck? Like that won't even work with a joystick. What am I missing? I have to be missing something. Can't just you can't just program your W and S key to your No, I can, board. Ralph. They are already programmed to that. W or do you mean program it to my my pedals? Or your pedals, yeah. No, that doesn't I I don't think I can do that. Because my my movement is set to an axis, kind of like when you wiggle your sticks left and right or forward and backwards. That's one axis, but one is going in a positive direction, the other one's going in a negative direction. So you know which direction you're going because if it's a positive number, that's forward. If it's a negative number, it's backwards. And that's how joysticks are. That's why in here, <coughs> for all these, you have a strafe up down that is one axis. Left, right is one axis. Roll is one axis. Axis. Um, there's up, down, left, right, roll, but no forward and backwards. What? I don't, I don't know what to do. I just closed your windows. Um, Yeah, I see oh, this. To, I did it. Fly down there. <clears throat> Hold on a second. I'm, I'm looking on Google, seeing if anyone has said anything about this. They changed the throttle key bind. Am I missing something, or is it not there? Also, where did autopilot go? It is now. It's. <clears throat> under UIV strafe longitudinal. Oh. Okay, let's see if that does. Why is it longitudinal? It doesn't. Oh, I gotta. Okay, there's still some kind of issue with it here. Is your gear still down? No, it's up. Dude said, check my comment, but there's no comment. Well, if I go. Oh, man. Man, I'm gonna go. My ship doesn't have a crapper, does it? Uh, I think it does. Alright, let me try. I know I gotta swap my controls here for this. I'm gonna go to. I don't know if it's one, two, or three. Flight, <clears throat> movement. Oh, there it is. Longitudinal, yes. I'm gonna change that on. Uh... Why 
How would they change the name? That is so dumb. Oh, I can't sit on the crapper. All right. problem I have now I've got the throttle working for forward and backwards but if I let go of the throttle entirely if I let go of the throttle entirely it tries to do like 75% of the throttle that's not what I want Look behind, not worried about scanning mode. Cockpit, we got flight systems ready, not worried about any of those. Not really worried about the views either. Seems these are all inverted. Um I'm, I'm gonna do this again. Gunfighter first. Right. And gladiator. Oh. I gotta do throttle again. Oh, see now that inverted it. Oh. God. Okay. Keyboard, mouse, gladiator, and then gunfighter. Back. Oh my goodness. Whoa, what? I inverted it. I did him the other way. All right, let's do gunfighter and gladiator again. Let's try that. See, these just say joystick. It doesn't say like nothing about which one it is. And I think they keep swapping on me. See, that didn't do it. Oh, that didn't do it either. Oh yeah, it did. That's my left stick doing the roll. It's supposed to be my right stick. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna do Where are you, Discord? There we are. So in the learning and mod section, I have, I have this PP thing. <laughs> PP, resort, devices, joystick, one, two. All right. Rotates on the right side. Still, why is it throttling? Like, it's, like, forcing me at, like, 75% throttle for some reason. Um, there's got to be something in here causing that. Is it this? Relative throttle. Axis crossing trap threshold. What the fuck does that mean? I have no idea. I don't know if that's it. Um, I don't feel like that would be. Well, turn it off it. and try your stick and see if it throttles. Yeah, I'll I'll try it in a second. I want to look some of this other stuff here. Pre no flight movement. See, I thought one of these might be up, and it's not. Oh, wait, that's for 
That's for the st first stick. Movement. Movement turns around. Um. Wow. What kind of shit is happening here? Alright, let's try this. We're at 60. I'm going to put it at zero. Let's see if that does anything. Nope, it's exactly the fucking same. Oh, whatever. Alright. I'm going to leave it this way for now. I'm sure they'll fix it. This is probably one of the most obnoxious things ever. Oh, you know what? I can do this, right? Oh, no. It's so wherever I do. Oh, that ain't even working. Oh, oh, you know what? I don't think I did. I don't think I reset my throttle. No, I didn't. That would be why that's not working. Movement. Right here. Longitudinal. Yes. All right, I guess that's going to work the best. This is awful, Ralph. This is really awful. I don't like what they've done at all. Like, they've fucking ruined it. That's what they did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't think you'd be happy. But, I mean, you know, it's... Okay. I mean, it's just going to be a learning curve. You just yeah. Figure out whatever it, it does and fucking get used to it. It just doesn't makes sense that they would do some of these things at all. Right. And now it's not even working. You got the gear down? No. I'm hitting the button to turn on quantum so I can see targets. But it Oh yeah, ain't... you gotta wait for it to spool up. Well, it doesn't even turn on. I mean, that's the problem. Oh, see, now it's making me shoot. I'm in the menus. That's not right. You're not in your quantum mode if you can shoot. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I know why. I know why. I know why that's not working. I got to do... Fuck, is it going to be one of these? Mining, solid scheme, quantum, assault, operator mode. Operator mode. Next. Nope. Where's the option to switch between uh, like space combat mode and navigation mode Targeting. I have no idea but it's it's the uh, the indicator for it is up above the yeah in, I know per hour or whatever I know where that's at um, my skinning quantum this operator fuck man I don't know let's try I don't think this is it. Is there a switch? On the dash or anything? Well, I want to... Wait, did I get it? I just used B. Guns. Hit B oh, and that'll take you back to... There's control. more than one mode. This is... Oh, no, I get what's happening. I get what's happening. So this, I think... I think this is the right spot because this is taking me when I hit this button it's going to missile mode Operator mode toggle previous so I get quantum and missile I bet that no oh, that's that's SDM mode 
Because you can use your guns and missiles and shit in there. And you can go fast. Well, I'm trying to find the button uh -huh. that goes between the combat mode and navigation mode. B on your keyboard. Normal tr No, I'm 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 not no 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 for the joystick. I know it's B. But I don't know where the setting is at so I can set it to my joystick. Right here, cycle master mode. Right there. Scrolling doesn't work very well in here. Um, turn that off there. And. Oh, now that creates another problem. I'm just gonna. Yeah, the option for lead pip and lag pip, fucking yeah. that one's gone too. So there's nav. Maybe it's in the vehicle ground option. <laughs> Switching to nav mode, taking forever. There we go, now I'm in nav mode. The quantum button ain't working. Oh my god. Is this just me or is this the game? Is this Oh no, it's it's the game. Um can you see quantum icons? No. Yeah, see that's that's one of the problems I had yesterday. Alright, quantum travel system. I'm doing that one. So that should turn it on and off, and then I hold it. Same button, I hold it to engage quantum. Okay, press, 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 press. Yeah, not working. How close are you to the ground, do you know? What's your um, 10,000. Oh, you gotta be real close to that place. You should be able to see the lights to it. I don't fucking see anything. Everything looks totally normal. Except my buttons. Yeah, there's a lot of cloud cover. Oh, there's a ship down there, so I kind of wonder if that's it. Most likely. I can't even... Yeah, that's it. I can see the base. Shoot. Yeah, I think I'm seeing it, too. Oh, did I figure that was because I had coupled mode on? I still can't, I still can't do quantum. What if I hit B? There, now I get, I heard it. That takes you back to SEM though, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. This, this actually makes me want to all death for. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna. There you go, now I'm in nav mode. Oh, you are in nav mode? I, I have no idea anymore. They fucked this up so bad. Nav mode should be the quantum mode. It, yeah, it says nav, but there's like the whole thing that shows like your your uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call it? Your EM, your heat, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. covering it, but I'm I'm pretty sure it says nav. Why do I see my pip fall or my velocity indicator? There it goes. Now, when you get close, you're going to want to call for a hangar. There's only two hangars in this whole place. And they're one size fits all, so it'll be a huge hangar for this whole thing.
I gotta change some more shit. Read top movement. Now there's some of these that are bad, and they have a ship that that floats out there and waits for anybody to come in and he shoots you out of the sky. I mean, he's torpedoed me or missiled me or whatever. It's just one shot he does me. But, Interesting. Uh, so I parked way off and then ran in one time. And and one of the places was totally, uh, there was nobody there. But another place, I mean, I got freaking taken out big time. There's so many guards and shit. They were kind of stupid, you know. But yeah. then they kind of wake up on their own because of the lag or whatever. They wake up on their own and then start shooting at you and you fucking, you're all bloodied up before you even freaking hear any shots. You, did you get a hanger? You're going for the ground here. Um, no, you're going I hit- way past into I the hit, ground. I know, I know. I hit the button, but not a goddamn thing happened, I don't think. Is that guy on the floor? Why did I just see us hitting the ground? Were you watching the same thing? No, I'm floating. I'm flying. That is fucking weird. Did you call for a hanger? No, I can't do a hanger. It's not working. Just like 90% of everything else is not working. <clears throat> we'll hop out. I'll put us I, I in. I guess hand. I guess those aren't the the buttons either. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of the seat. I don't know what's going on here. I'm hitting buttons and nothing's happening. I I think it just kind of all went at once. I don't know. Now I'm down to seven frames per second. Four, six, five. Oh man, Ralph, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, it will get better. This is PTU. Yeah. <laughs> and this is this is early PTU. There it goes. I had to resync with the server. It was really bad. Everything's full. I don't see people. Oh, okay. Jesus. open. Oh, well. Oh. Side, huh? Oh no, it's showing. The hell one's it showing? This one? Yeah, it's this one. Look at those graphical glitches over there. So one of the advantages to the uh, to the gear that makes you go slower is if you're gonna hit something. Deploy your landing gear. Yeah. You just suddenly can't go too fast. Man, it is so, so laggy. Can't get my door open. I'm over at the elevator, I think. Yeah, wait for me. Oh, there's no radar over here. 
radar. What do you mean? Yeah, your little mini map. It says up there, radar unavailable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, there ain't. Holy moly. Okay. Man, this cold or whatever the hell this is, it's starting to hit hard. Uh -huh. mm. Shit, was that? What was that? Doors open. Are you in? No. Open the door. I'm getting five FPS. There you go. It's I hear open. people talking like, like, like they're enemies or something. Come on. 